Hi, guys. Hi. Hello. What we're here for today is our bird, Pip. He's got like this hole on his leg and he's been picking at it a lot. And it started to turn yellow and it's gotten bigger over the last three weeks since we've noticed it. Hi there, Dr. Oli, nice to meet you. Okay, so what's going on with Pip's leg? It's been getting progressively worse. We just really noticed the extent of it yesterday. You know, when he took a bath, it looked like a bare turkey leg. Yeah, and he's been working at it yeah, all the time. Yeah, all the time. Sometimes they'll do that just so the feathers don't mat down in the wound, but we'll take a look at it and see, okay? Okay. Let me see if I can grab him. I use a towel so it's not a hand coming at him. It just trains them so they don't become fearful of a hand. All right, Pip, come here for a second. Oh, he's really good. Ouch. Looks like he lacerated it somehow. Should've got that wound opened up. He's got a pretty significant laceration on his leg. Certainly, if a wound got badly infected with the wrong bacteria, it could prove fatal. I think we could throw a couple of stitches in there if he'll leave them alone. Let me go back and see if I can throw a stitch or two in this and just try to get it closed. All right. There we go. Thank you. I'm concerned that this laceration needs to be closed. So we're going to take him to surgery and see if we can get him sewn up. Just hold this slit out for me, would you? Okay. Mm, it's OK, little guy. You can hold on to my hand. Hang in there, partner. He's doing really good. He's being such a good patient. Now, if you'll leave these sutures alone, you're going to heal. We've got to keep his beak off of it. He'll rip those stitches right out. So I'm going to make an Elizabethan collar out of x-ray film. I don't have a commercial one available, so I'm going to show you how to make one the old-fashioned way. It's never the best in art class, but I'll try to make this as round as possible. Well, that's why you became a doctor. <laughs> True. Michelangelo had everything on me. I'm going to fashion it to fit Pip as well as I possibly can. Mr. Pip, you got to keep this on. And if you staple it out here far enough, he won't be able to reach it. He won't be able to nice. reach it. Unlike a dog cone of shame, if it goes out, you actually bring the cone down over the shoulders in a bird. All right. All right. Give Pip. this a try, Pip. It's all right. I was able to close that wound completely, but if he gets at that wound, he's just going to take those stitches out just like that. Why is he chewing it? Because he doesn't like it on his neck. But they get used to it. In the meantime, I guess we'll be entertained by this. <laughs> so he will get used to it. Yeah. His little cone, his cone of shame. I thought it was funny. Keep an eye on him and everything. If you notice he's getting to it, kind of refashion it. Right. Left untreated, this wound could have festered into a, a pretty bad infection. He is going home on antibiotics just to cover all the bases. 10 to 14 days when those stitches come out, he should be good to go. Hey, Pipper's looking good in his new outfit. <laughs> Take care. Have a good one.